What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 4D here. Welcome back to another diecast video. And tonight, it is that time again. It is another diecast haul video. And this is going to be another diecast haul. And let's just say I got some of these from Walmart and others from my local sports collector store called JP Sports. I'll do some explanation on those in a few. With that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. So first up here, we got Kyle Busch's 2019 uh, 187 two-pack. This is his 2019 Skittles and his 2019 IK9.com from the Xfinity series. I got this die cast during my break uh, from work. I went to Walmart. And, of course, there are 187s, no NASCAR 164 still, because Walmart's Walmart. And, you know, I, I, I was like, you know what, I want to get some 187s. I know the 187 two-packs are overpriced and stupid, but you know what, I want to get them anyway. And, yeah. Now, man, how is this the hard part of getting, of opening this? Oh, crap. Somehow, some way. My phone did not fall. That is strange. But you know what? I will lie. Alright. Hang on. We're almost there. I got the IK9 car out. I got the Skittles car out. Alright. So, yes. I did get these on Monday. And I will explain that a few moments. But first, I'm trying to open these babies up. Come on. There you go. God, we're almost there. All right, there's his cup car from 2019, and there is his Xfinity car from 2019, if it can get out. Hey, there we go. First try. All right, so these are his uh, 187 cars, not two pack. I like the way they do the Supras on um, this one. How can they do a better job with the Xfinity cars more um, than the Cup cars. Hey, what gives, Lino? But yeah, these are pretty cool. Very, very cool. And I do have the Jeffrey Earnhardt 164 version of this, and I have those Cowboys 2016 Skittles cars of it. Now I just need to get something. All right, so I had to get something. So here are the Cowboys 187s. I don't know where to put it, so I'm just gonna like you no, know I'm just gonna put it away. I'm just gonna put it away. Okay, so last but not least for 187 wise, I got the Michael Winnett two pack. This is the Michael Winnett two pack of his 2019 Pilot Flying J and his Baby Ruth throwback to Jeff Gordon. And I got this on during my break. Um, from work uh, today, and yep, as you can tell, I do love these 187 two packs. But again, I've been saying this time and time again, they're so overpriced, it's stupid. But I still love these, so I do want to get more 187s, of course. But it'll take time. Okay, so what I wanted to say was that originally, I wanted to get some oh crap i wanted to like after i got the kyle bush two packs i wanted to wait until i got like some more 187s and um so i could do like a haul video of the 187 die cast like hell i even talked about it in the, in the community post that you guys voted for that but you know things change that's why this haul video exists all right. All right. So, I really hope I didn't scratch it. Okay. All right. Oh, there's a chip on it. I don't know if I did that, but I can sharpie. So here are the 187s, and I do have the Baby Ruth throwback in 164 scale. My 20th birthday. Uh, thank you to Bree. So, yeah, those are the Michael Nut 187s. 
And now the best for last for Walmart. Now I did get this too during my break today from work. By the way, I do not work at Walmart. And I've been waiting to get this one forever. I've been looking and looking and looking. And I got it. This is the 2021 IMSA Corvette C8R. Um, number four. And I'm so happy that I finally got this. I've been looking for this. For those of you who don't know, I do watch motorsports. I watch IMSA as well. And the Corvette's my all-time favorite GTLM team. I love Corvette. I love Corvette in general. Like, outside of racing. I don't know why. Like, I've always been, like, a huge fan of Corvettes growing up. But I'm a bigger fan of motorsports. And I just want to, like, keep it in the packaging, too. And here it is. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. This is so fucking sexy. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I am not sorry for being like this, but I am a huge Corvette fan. Oh, my God. This is just so gorgeous. So this is a 2021 C8R. Yeah, it is new for this year. So it this, so far it's been driven by Tommy Milner, Nick Tandy, and Alexander Sims in the four. Right, hopefully I got them right. Um, and yeah, so far Corvette's been. I know GTL is not competitive this year because we got BMWs, Corvettes, and some in a Porsche. Um, but <laughs> they've been doing great this year, although it's not as competitive, but they've been doing good. And wow, I'm just happy I got this die cast. That's amazing. All right. So now let me get now. Let me take a few minute breaks and all that. And I'll get to the JB Sports stuff. All right. So let's finish strong. Now, the next die cast that you are about to see are the ones that I got seven die casts from JP Sports. JP Sports is my local sports shop, and I haven't been to, to that place in God knows how long. I don't remember. It's been like three, four, something years. I don't really know. And personally, I wanted to go back because it's been forever, and I thought JP Sports was going to go under, like go out of business because of COVID and all that. I was like, you know what? Just in case of COVID, just in case of JP Sports ever does shut down, and if I don't come back to that place ever again because it's not around anymore i want to go back there like one more time but so far when i got it to jp sports it looks good it looks good everything's good so far uh when i came in and i got these seven die casts and before i begin once again as i'm getting my die cast ready um the only problem i have with jp sports is the pricing of 164s if you think Lionel diecast the 2021 are overpriced, that's pretty much nothing. Come to my store, like some 164s are $10.99, $11.99, $12.99, $13.99, $14.99, $15.99, and so on. That's how expensive it is for 164s over there. But thankfully, some of these were 50% off, so I didn't have to spend like $100 on them. Thankfully, that was not the case. I They were like 56. Like, they were 52, but the taxes were like four bucks, I think. And then, um, yeah, they're 56 bucks. So thank God for 50% offs. It's like that because, I don't know, something about licensing and they're like, hey, this is how the price is. So yeah, I guess. Anyway, enough explaining. Ex enough explaining. Let's let's not waste any more time and let's begin so first off i literally did not expect this to be on jp sports this is gray galdings 2019 panini training card chevy camaro yes this die cast it's already rare of course because of the promo of Gana uh, not ganassi i almost said ganassi panini and they only have these die casts because they were panini cards and i was given panini cards because i purchased this die cast and yeah i opened these up these are like atlanta baseball teams i guess atlanta braves i don't know but yeah i don't want them 
I don't know what to do with them, but yeah, this is Greg Galding's one, uh, two, 2019 Panini trading cards, and my goodness, and honestly, these 2019 Chevy Camaros, they're heavy as hell, and my god, these are, this is so amazing, I never thought I would find this die cast at my local sports shop, you know what, thank you Panini, thank you Panini for existing, without them, I wouldn't be getting this car, this is cool, so, yeah. Alright, so... Yep, that's gonna do it for Greg Galding's card. Next up, I did get some CLTs more card tomorrows. Because they're awesome. And this is going to be on... Denny Hamlin's 2008 FedEx Express Toyota Camry from Joe Gibbs Racing. Some, you guys can debate if this is 2008 or 2009. It could be 2009 because there's no 60 years of NASCAR on this die cast or you can say it's 2008 because of oh, the, the copyright and all that stuff so yeah let's open this bad boy up i needed a denny hamlin clt die cast anyway because if i ever wanted to do like stop motion races of clt soon currently i'm working on a stop motion race it's a nascar race but i'm not gonna say anything that's the only hint I'll give you. But if I ever made like sealed, if I ever made like CLT NASCAR diecast, I needed a Denny Hamlin uh, card because I have Kyle Busch, I had Joy Logano, and now I got a Denny Hamlin CLT, you know, for JGR stuff. And my goodness, this is just awesome. Like I got into NASCAR mid 2009, so pretty much I grew up with this paint scheme because it was Ram from 08 to 2011. I mean, at the end of 2010. So, yeah. Basically, I grew up with this paint scheme. All right. Next up. This is going to be on Greg Biffle's 2012 3M NASCAR Salutes Ford Fusion for Roush Fenway Racing. I remember when these die casts, alongside Carl Edwards and other NASCAR Unites cars, were on NASCAR Authentic Spin Master in Walmart, like, 2014. And and I needed, like, a Greg Biffle Gen 5 anyway. I did have a Carl Edwards 2012 Fast and All NASCAR Unites Spin Master car, so this is honestly good, too. And I gotta say, this is a beauty. This is awesome right here. I love this car. And my favorite part about this die cast and this paint scheme, and I didn't even know until today, is that they added the NASCAR Salutes logo on the spoiler. You don't see that anymore. Like, I know they added the stars on a bunch of uh, 2012 paint schemes, but especially these, but I never knew that there was a NASCAR Salutes logo on this. This is awesome. Yeah. Suck on that, Gen 6. Gen 5 will always be better than the Gen 6. So, yeah. I'm very happy to get this card. Very, very cool. What I love about JP Sports is that they have a bunch of rare die casts that is hard to find online. But the only bummer part is that is the pricing. But the only good thing is that I think this is one of the 50% off die casts. So, yeah. Next up, this is going to be on Joey Logano's 2018 Pennzoil. I thought it was Shell Pennzoil, but nope, it's only Pennzoil. From Team Penske. Now, I just need to get these off. Yeah, JP Sports has these things. So, like, they can, like, hang on shelves. So, yeah. And I forgot how much of a pain that they were, they were hard to get out. So, yeah. But, hey, I got myself another Joy Logano Gen 6. Um, why well, now? version so yeah so here is the um look on our car very very cool 22 is crooked yeah i don't think this is this car has too many defects uh joe Logano's name up here is like crooked as well uh the rear the tail lights oh crap the right side the the right tail light is all the way up uh i think the right side is good um and yeah, not perfect but it's not too bad I'll bring it back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take out Charlie once again. So we got three more die kits to go. Let's finish it off. So next up, it is another car tomorrow. And this is going to be on. Okay, 
Okay, so this is going to be on Kevin Harvick's 2008 Penzoil Platinum uh, Chevy Impala SS for Richard George's Racing. Of course, this is the, I, I don't want to say the rarest of the rare, but it is one of the rarest ones, uh, uh, CLTs ever. And I gotta say, I don't know, I think this one was the 50% off die cast. I think most of them were 50% offs, or all of them. I can't, hang on, let me look at the receipt. Um, let me see. Yeah, actually, all of them were 50% off. Okay, so, yeah. All the diecasts in JP Sports are 50% off. So, yeah. And there were six bucks since we're 50% off. So, this is the car. Very, very cool. I love the gloss on this. It's just amazing diecast. One of the underrated Kevin Harvick diecasts. If you guys think Bush did a creative job with Harvick now... I think I think uh, Penzo and Shell did some creative diecast with Kevin Harvick when Penzo was with when Shell and Penzo were with, were with Kevin Harvick. Jesus Christ, I can't speak English. All right, two more to go, and you know what? I'm just gonna show them both because they are similar schemes, and these are both junior cars, and. And this is Del Jr.'s 2008 National Guard Citizen Shoulder Three Doors Down Chevy Impala from Hendrick Motorsports. And I... <laughs> this is one of the junior diecasts I never thought about getting or something. But honestly, like, I was in a rush of getting diecasts and all that. And I was like, you know what? I, I want these diecasts. I don't know. Like, have you... Please tell me, all of you guys watch this video. Have you been there before? Like, you want to get a bunch of diecasts. But then you had like a... Then you were like being hurried up and all that. But you had to get like as much as possible. Or you had to decide. Decide. Decide whatever you really want. Or just get something for the hell of it. That's me all the freaking time. Oh my god. Some people think being a diecast collector is easy. Well, guess what? It's not really easy at times. It's not the easiest thing at times. It could be easy, it could be hard at the same time, but yeah, that's part of being a motorsports diecast collector myself. I've been there and I know I will continue to be there in the future when I collect diecasts. Like, oh, decide which ones do I really have to get? All those things. And the best for last, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2017 Nationwide Insurance Gray Ghost throwback to Buddy Baker. That's right, folks. Dale Earnhardt Jr. ran the Gray Ghost throwback at Martinsville in the fall of 2017. Originally, he was supposed to run the 2016 Gray Ghost throwback at Darlington. But unfortunately, because he had concussions after Michigan and had to sit out for the second half of the season... He didn't get a chance to run his all-time favorite NASCAR paint scheme. That's right. Buddy Baker's Grey Ghost throwback is his all-time favorite paint scheme. Jeff Gordon drove it at Darlington. And then before Junior uh, called it quits as a full-time cup driver, he wanted to race this paint scheme one last time. And honestly, good for Junior. I'm very happy to see Junior that to see him race the Grey Ghost throwback. He really deserved it. I understand why he loves it. It's very iconic. And to see others do it, it's very cool. And I'm happy that Junior drove his all-time favorite paint scheme as a throwback. You love to see it, whether you're a Junior fan or not. The Grey Ghost is iconic. Whether Buddy Baker drove it, whether I think Bobby Allison drove it. Anybody. Anybody. The Grey Ghost is always and will always be an iconic paint scheme. So that's going to do it for the haul. Now let's do an outro. Boop. All right, everybody, these are all the die cast hauls that I got from Walmart and JP Sports. I am very grateful for all these die casts. And of course, one of my personal favorites is, of course, this sexy beast. Although the four is not the right color, it's supposed to be the three. I think, or I think both of them were still supposed to be yellow before the 2020 season, but I guess they changed. The four uh, Corvette team into gray. I'm that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. 
I think it would have been more accurate if it was a three or the four could have been gray or Hot Wheels could have done both cars. Other than that, I'm very grateful for this and I really hope I get the 2015 IMSA Corvette C7R version. I've been looking for that for forever. Forever and I really hope I get it soon. But for the NASCAR diecast, man, these are just beautiful diecasts. I just need to do some white out on this. I don't know what happened there. And I gotta put Sharpie here on this tiny chip. So yeah, here are these die casts that I got from JP Sports, Walmart, uh, uh, Walmart, Walmart, JP Sports, JP Sports. So yeah, that's gonna do it for another video. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just needed some room, so that's why I took it out. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting E-Nation. This is the Impressive 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.